as the economy of the Eastern Cape was starting to recover. A second wave hit the country with the economic hub of the province, Nelson Mandela Bay, declared the epicenter of the virus. New restrictions were implemented, which caused further delays in the economic recovery of the Eastern Cape. You would understand that uh, we have been talking about uh, the new normal. We have been talking about uh, the business continuity. These are new uh, terminologies that have uh, arrived in our vocabulary uh, in understanding the situation that we are dealing with. Government has been actually providing services. Government has been working. We have never closed government under very difficult condition. We continue working uh, uh, at a very risk-adjusted approach, uh, saving more lives, but at the same time, balancing that equation with the preservation of uh, their livelihood. The province came under fire for its handling of the pandemic. Scooters bought for 10 million rand to assist in keeping the virus in the province were later found to be unsuitable. The province has learned lessons from the COVID-19 pandemic. Whatever money that we do, let's not just spend it. Let's put it, let's create legacy, uh, build capacity of our hospitals for future. We are happy that we've done that uh, very successfully. And, but also, we're also happy that many, more than 70% procurement done benefited the local SMMEs for the first time in the Eastern Cape. Mabuyane wish all the residents of the Eastern Cape a Merry Christmas, which will be celebrated under the umbrella of COVID-19 safety regulation for the first time. SABC News in the Eastern Cape.